person. The business record is proud to recognize Angela Jackson as a 2023 Woman of Influence. She's so good about surprising you. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you to the business record. Thank you, Connie Weimer. Thank you to all of my fellow 2023 honorees. I'm humbled by this recognition. And every person here, I want you to know that I celebrate all of you. You all have a sphere of influence. How do you become a woman of influence in Iowa? For me, three things come to mind. Foundation, faith, and fortitude. Family is my foundation. Parents that really loved and cared for me, my grandmother, I just thank you. My spouse, my rock, my encourager, my teacher, my mentor, my huge supporter, James Jackson, I love you and I thank you. <laughs> to, to my son, our son Noah, and our siblings, our family and friends that are here, I thank you. Really, without your support, it doesn't happen. You see the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> we all need family, but we also need friends. And I think friends are part of our foundation. So I want to thank my sisters. <laughs> That's right, my prayer partners. <laughs> I want to thank my sorors of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated. <laughs> my link sisters. I want to thank my sister sisters, those business friends, those staff, those colleagues. I want to thank Mariah and all the staff from the Great Frame Up. I want to thank Christy and Mike and Liza and Alyssa and Annie and Sheila and the entire HC team from Beam at a Thing. I want to thank the West Des Moines Chamber and my nominator, Kathleen Harrington, the Chamber staff, the board, the DEI committee. Thank you. I want to thank my cheerleaders, those who wrote letters of recommendation, Renee, Janice, Therese, Christy, Josh, David, Mark, Audrey, and so many others, customers who have encouraged me, who have been patient and so forgiving. And I want to thank my new church city family and artists. I want to thank the artists, the people who are creative, that fuel me to continue to give us energy to think big and think bold and have lots of color. <laughs> All my friends, I want to thank you because you're part of my foundation. Second is my faith. I just really believe that to whom much is given, much is required. And we got to use the time that we have on earth because it's gone before we know it. And so part of my faith is because my mother was diagnosed with a terminal illness when I was in elementary school. And she was blessed to live through that challenge way past when the doctors diagnosed her. And so when I was 15, when she made her transition, it really made me into the person that I am today. Also, I learned a lot from my parents who were small business owners, and I learned they're always gonna need lawyers, so I needed to be a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, if I went ahead and went to law school, I'd save so much money. <laughs> so I did that, and that was part of me understanding that you really needed to be able to have family and faith. Lastly, I want to share a little bit about fortitude. Fortitude is courage, it's grit, it's grace. I learned these lessons as well from my parents, from mentors, and many others. I continue to try to lean into them this day. Fortitude, staying the course, running the race, cleaning the toilet, making the calls, coaching, speaking up against injustice, and encouraging others to be their best. Especially when times are difficult, people may not appreciate your diverse, inclusive approach. However, just remember, have fortitude. Keep pressing forward, no matter what. It doesn't matter. And so I leave you with this. We are all people of influence. I'm grateful that I was blessed with three key things, a strong foundation, faith, and fortitude. Thank you for this honor.